Many of you new to crossbow hunting will also be new to bow hunting in general. And because of this fact, I thought it would be good to take a minute and go over proper shot placement when using a crossbow. So on this segment of the Crossbow Safety and Education Series, we'll look at proper shot placement when hunting with your crossbow. Now, unlike a bullet shot from a gun that kills from shock, arrows kill game from hemorrhage. So we want to make sure that we take shots that will give us the best opportunity to dispatch an animal as quickly and humanely as possible. And because the white-tailed deer is the most widely hunted species, we're going to show you examples on the types of shots you should be taking when deer hunting. Now some of you gun hunters might be used to shooting deer right on the shoulder or even in the neck. However, when hunting with an arrow, these won't be the types of shots you want for the highest percentage of success. When hunting with an arrow, our goal is to aim for the vital organs, which would be the heart, lungs, and the liver. To make sure our arrow penetrates into one of these vital organs, we need to make sure our arrow makes contact with as little bone as possible. And in order to do this, we need to stay away from the shoulder blade. So to do this, we need to focus our aim just behind the shoulder. Now we don't want to come back to the midway point of the body, but we do need to be just behind the front leg. So how do we make sure our arrow stays away from the front shoulder? Well, first we have to aim in the right spot. And second, we need to make sure that the animal we're hunting is in the right position. The two best positions to shoot a deer are at broadside, which means the deer is perpendicular to you and the path the arrow will take to get to the deer, or a quartering away shot, which means that the deer is slightly angled away from you. Both these shot angles will give you the highest percentage of success. Now, there is something you should know about arrow placement and where to aim. On a broadside shot, you want to aim just behind the shoulder, like we discussed earlier. This will give you the best opportunity to hit the heart or both lungs. However, on a quartering away shot, shooting the deer just behind the shoulder isn't always the best shot. And the reason being is that depending on how hard the deer is quartering away, if you shoot just behind the shoulder, you may not be at the best angle to hit both lungs. So on a quartering away shot, you should always aim for the opposite shoulder. Doing so will give you the best odds to take out both lungs, which is often referred to as a double lung shot, which will make for a quick kill. If you were to try to shoot a quartering deer just behind the shoulder and you hit real close to the front shoulder, chances are you may only hit one lung. And a deer with one lung can live for a long time. So just make sure on a quartering away shot that we aim for the opposite shoulder which on this particular target may mean that your point of impact is all the way back here. But because of the path of the arrow, we would be coming out in the front shoulder. Now, as far as how high or how low to aim on a deer, that'll depend on how you are hunting and the temperament of the deer you are trying to shoot. How you are hunting is the easy part. If you're hunting from the ground or in a ground blind, you should aim either at the midline of the body or lower closer to the level of the heart. If you're hunting from a tree stand, you want to aim lower than midway, especially the closer the deer is to your stand. The reason for this is because of instead of working against gravity, your arrow is going with it and your arrow will hit higher when shooting at a downward angle. Because of that, we want to aim a little bit lower than we would normally if we were on the ground. And to know exactly how high your arrow will hit when shot from a crossbow out of a tree stand, you'll need to practice with your crossbow from an elevated position. Now, as far as the temperament of the deer, this will take some in the field experience, hunting and watching deer. But here's what you should know. Deer that are nervous or that are highly pressured tend to have a sixth sense when it comes to reacting to an arrow shot from a crossbow. It's called jumping the string. However, what they're really doing is ducking the string. 
This means on a nervous deer, when an arrow is shot, they have a tendency to drop. So even though you may have aimed in the right spot, say midway on the body, if the deer drops, you can actually hit high or you could shoot over top of it. So in a case like this, you would want to aim lower than you normally would. But like I said before, this takes time and experience observing deer in the wild. If you fear your deer is calm and has no idea you're in the woods, then you can aim how you normally would. However, aiming a little bit on the low side, say towards the heart area, won't hurt you at all if the deer doesn't drop. That is, as long as you don't underestimate the distance between you and the deer. Okay, we're almost done. Let's take a look at one shot that is considered to be marginal and one shot that we want to avoid. A bottleneck shot is when a deer is facing you and its silhouette resembles the shape of a bottle. Now many deer have been killed from this shot and many deer have been wounded from this shot also. When done correctly, the arrow hits the deer right in the center of the heart and the deer will die quickly. If the shot is off center a couple inches one way or the other, you risk the chance of hitting only one lung. And as I said earlier in this video, a deer with one lung can live for a long time, which means they could run for a long time too. And the farther a deer runs, the worse your chances are of recovering that deer. The shot we don't want you to take is the quartering two shot. This is when the deer is facing you, but off to an angle. When a deer is in this position, the shoulder blade of the deer will be more exposed than in any other angle. If you were to try to come in front of the shoulder blade with your shot, you risk not hitting any vital organs. And if you were to try to aim behind the shoulder, you risk hitting the deer behind the liver, in the guts, or in the paunch, which will make recovery of that deer very difficult. So stay away from quartering two shots. Learning when and where to shoot a deer with an arrow shot from a crossbow takes practice and experience. So sticking to the types of shots discussed in this video will increase your odds of successfully filling your deer tag and make you a better deer hunter.